welcome again in this tutorial we will save cacphp has one data so we know that cacphp has four type of associations that means has one has many belongs to one and belongs to many so in this tutorial we will see cacphp has one association save data so let's see so for that at first i'm going to create a new table called profiles so i'm in here my database that i'm using in this tutorial and creating a new a table called profiles and profiles has five fields first one will be id second one will be user id that means the relation between user and profile and this is the foreign key that i am using and the second i am giving a field called mobile and third i am giving a created and modified by default field in calculation so it will be primary key so i am giving it auto increment and then i am mentioning the size like that like that and here is the created it will be the date time and the date time so now after save your table it will be look like that so what I, what we have to do in here we we want to save our some users data in our profiles table so this is actually our purpose for this table so we will keep some data in our users table and user all information that means profile information we will keep in profiles table so for that let's go in our view so this is the view and here is the new user so you can see i am actually in users and this is the add table here i have to create a field in here for our uh, profiles so at first let's create a model for our profile so i'm going in terminal and opening my terminal in here so you can see i am now in cac php uh, folder so i have to this is my project folder and i have to go in bin folder first so i'm going in uh, cd and then bin and here i'm giving a common for uh, cag back model and i'm creating the model for our profiles table so this is the profiles table and after hit on enter it will create our model for our profiles table so already done so you can see it in users model and this is the entity and this is the profiles that has created and this is the table and this is the profiles table that have created it's actually for uh, your validation and uh, this is the important table and then then go in our uh, source uh, sorry in our template and this is the admin and this is the users folder and this is the admin dot uh, add dot php folder uh, add dot php file and here we have to create a new field for our mobile so so let's create it field in here so i'm just giving a new field in here so this field will be for mobile field and it's actually in profile step so we have to give the name of our p profile uh, the singular form of uh, table name and it's actually for has one so we have to use the singular in here and then we have to mention the field name so my field name will be mobile and after save, if you go and reload your browser, you will see that your field has created. Next thing that you have to go, uh, you have to go in uh, source and in your model. And if you, you have to go in your user.php model. And here you have to give, give the accessible because you have to give the permission that you want to save your data from users to profile stable. So you have to just give here the singular form of your entity. So entity will be like that, P R O F I L E profile. So it, it all will be small letter. So then you have to give the true. That means I have given the access for my profile table. So now we have to just uh, do our last uh, code. So we have to go in our uh, model again so this is the entity that we have did now you have to go in table folder and here is the users table uh, and in here and here we have to give the uh, we have to uh, actually use the has one function or has one method 
to assign that uh, this user has a relation with the profile. So it's actually very easy. You have to just write a, you have to just write like this has one. So this is the method of get PHP. And you have to mention here the name of your uh, table. So I'm just giving the profiles like that. So after save, if you go and reload your page, now you can see that in our profiles, there is no any data in here. So there's no any appearing any data. So I'm going in here now saving a new data. So I'm giving a new name, John, and giving the John at the rate of test.com. And going up, giving a password, giving a mobile number, and uploading a picture. And after save, so you can see that John has saved in here. Let's see that uh, this is the profile table and go and click on browse. You can see that profile table has saved for user six. That means John actually, John's user ID is six. Yes, this is the six, the John ID. And it has saved in profile table user ID and you get the mobile number of John in here. So it's very simple. So now we have to just, um, print or echo our mobile in here. So it's very easy. We will see in next tutorial how to use content. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.